11 ancient civilizations that mysteriously vanished. 11. The Clovis People Unique stone tools found near Clovis, New Mexico provided evidence of this prehistoric Native American culture. Dating back to around 10,000 BCE, they were known for producing chipped flint points, or Clovis points, that were affixed to spears for hunting big game animals like mammoth and bison. The Clovis people are considered by some scholars to be the New World's first human inhabitants and may have been the ancestors of most of the indigenous cultures in the Americas. As to what caused the Clovis people to vanish, as you might expect, there are several theories. A less mobile population, combined with a decline in game animals, may have forced some of the Clovis to splinter off and form new cultures. That plays into a theory that the Clovis overhunted the mammoth and other species, which left them without a food source. It's also possible that a comet crashed into the Great Lakes and resulted in colder temperatures that lasted for more than a thousand years. The actual reason for the culture's demise, though, still remains a mystery. 10. Cahokia Did you know that in the state of Illinois, you can find an ancient city that was once surrounded by pyramids? It's referred to as Cahokia, and it was built around a thousand years before Europeans first made contact. Now known as the Cahokia State Historic Site, it's a park that covers some 2,200 acres, or three and a half square miles, and contains 80 mounds. But the ancient city was much larger, covering around six square miles and containing up to 40,000 inhabitants at its peak between 600 to 1400 AD. The culture was known for the art, architecture, and advanced farming methods. By 1300, the area was abandoned and never repopulated by indigenous tribes. Scholars think that along with deforestation and flooding, disease may have played a part in their decline. 9. The Cucatenny Trepillian Culture From 5500 to 3500 BCE, this Neolithic archaeological culture flourished in Eastern Europe, centered in present-day Moldova. It extended from the Carpathian Mountains to areas of Ukraine and Romania. The inhabitants were known for building the largest settlements in Neolithic Europe. Some of the settlements contained as many as 3,000 structures and may have contained upwards of 50,000 people. The culture also presents a mystery in that the settlers would periodically destroy the settlements roughly every 60 to 80 years. Experts are not completely sure why the sites were destroyed, but some settlements were reconstructed on top of the ones that were destroyed. One such site in Romania revealed some 13 habitation levels that were constructed one atop the other over an unknown span of years. In this matriarchal culture, Women led the household, and men were the hunters and gatherers. Scholars debate exactly what caused the decline of these people. A common theory is that they were conquered by the Kurgan, a warmongering culture. But a more recent theory posits that climate change may have led to one of the worst droughts in the history of Europe, which would have devastated this culture that was so dependent on farming. 8. The Anasazi, also known as the Ancestral Puebloans. The ancient Native American culture is thought to have emerged around 1200 BCE and was located at the Four Corners region of the U.S., where areas of the states of Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico meet. They had a major network that managed hundreds of population centers and communities. The cliff dwellings were used for defense, while they lived in a range of buildings from small pit houses for families to grand pueblos. They were known as farmers and artisans who crafted pottery, baskets, and bows and arrows. By 1300 AD, it appears that the ancestral Puebloans scattered and abandoned the settlements. It's thought that a number of factors, including overpopulation, combined with drought and poor farming methods, may have contributed to a scarcity of food which forced them to leave. Now, other experts say the culture's end likely came about in a violent fashion, sparked by political or social factors. 7. The Minoans The name might be associated with pottery and the mythical king Minos, but the Minoans were a real-life civilization. In fact, scholars have described them as Europe's very first civilization. Located on Crete and other islands of the Aegean, they preceded the Mycenaean civilization of ancient Greece and flourished from 2600 to 1100 BCE. Thanks to the trade and art, 
Minoan culture was spread beyond Crete to Egypt's old kingdom to the historical region of Syria, or the Levantine coast. The Minoan language, along with the writing systems, still mystify experts, and it remains undecipherable. As to what brought the civilization to an end, it is possible that the Minoans were invaded from mainland Greece, but a more popular theory involves the inhabitants being killed when a volcanic eruption occurred on the island of Thera, present-day Santorini. 6. The Olmec The earliest known major civilization in Mexico dated from around 1500 to 400 BCE and was centered in the modern-day states of Tabasco and Veracruz, with the city of San Lorenzo serving as the capital along with two other centers. They were known as master craftsmen, and the major sites contain evidence of the artistry. That includes house mounds, ceremonial courts, and pyramids. Most imposing, though, and most famous, are the helmeted colossal heads. The huge stone monuments might be the Olmec's trademark, so to speak. It's not exactly known what the heads represent, but no two are exactly alike. Seventeen have been found so far, in sizes ranging up to 11 feet high and weighing more than 60 tons. A mystery within a mystery is how the heads were crafted and then transported. As for the mystery of why the Olmecs vanished, no clear answer has yet been given. Scholars do know that the population suddenly dropped around 400 BCE, and it was sparsely populated through the 19th century. So it is possible that a series of volcanic eruptions in the region forced the Olmecs to move the settlements. 5. The Khmer Empire This was once one of the most powerful empires in all of Southeast Asia. Located in present-day Cambodia, the Khmer might be best known for building the capital city of Angkor. Their great power and wealth are epitomized with Angkor Wat and Bayan, which illustrate their achievements in art, culture, and architecture. They weren't lacking in military might either, as they fought many wars against rival empires like the Annamese. Identified as Hindu-Buddhists, they were obviously open to several systems of belief. Most experts agree that the empire lasted from around 802 AD until the 15th century. But between the 11th and 13th century, it's now believed that Angkor was the world's largest pre-industrial urban center. It's thought that the empire's decline might be attributed to several factors, including religious factors that affected social systems, internal power struggles, along with foreign invasion, plague, and ecological breakdown, or among other factors cited. 4. The Indus Valley Civilization, also identified as the Harappan Civilization. It was the largest of the Old World's three early civilizations, which included ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. At its apex, a population of some 5 million flourished along the Indus River Basin from approximately 3300 to 1300 BCE. But some sources claim that the region, located from Afghanistan to India, may have been settled as early as 7,000 BCE. The Bronze Age inhabitants built more than a hundred villages and towns, all of which featured intricate plumbing systems and indoor toilets. Not much is known about the Harappan because the language has never been fully deciphered, but experts have found evidence that they were skilled astronomers and farmers and were among the first civilizations to domesticate cattle and elephants. So why did they vanish? Some theories include environmental changes such as arid depleting the water supply and pushing the inhabitants to the east. It's also possible that they were invaded by the Aryans, an Indo-European tribe from Central Asia. 3. The Nabataeans If you're familiar with the ancient city of Petra, chances are that you know it was carved out of the cliffs of Jordan by the Nabataeans. The amazing city served as the capital, and it enjoyed a prime location along major commercial trading routes. Much of the wealth was accrued through the trade of silk, ivory, spices, precious metals, and gems. In contrast to other societies of the era, the Nabataeans never instituted slavery, and all members in the society contributed to the greater good. By the 4th century AD, however, it appears that the Nabataeans abandoned Petra, and there's still no definitive answer as to why. But a widely accepted theory is that when trade routes moved north, it was impossible to sustain the civilization. So, the Nabataeans had to leave the capital city behind. 2. The 
Aksumite Empire. From around 100 AD to 940 AD, this civilization was located in modern-day Eritrea and Ethiopia. In its time, it became a major factor along the trade routes from the Roman Empire to ancient India. This allowed the empire to grow extremely wealthy. They became the first African culture to mint their own currency, which was a significant sign of greatness. The ancient Aksumites were known for constructing monumental columns known as stela, which served as grave markers for their nobility. Now, one such obelisk stands some 90 feet high and is the world's largest such construct. As to what led to their decline, the rise of the Islamic Empire is thought to have isolated Aksum economically. Pagan tribes from the south may have invaded and defeated the Aksumite Empire. Climate changes and over-farming that led to starvation could have also been factors as well. Did you know that some sources claim the empire was the home of the Queen of Sheba and might even hold the Ark of the Covenant? One, the Mayan Empire. They were considered to be one of Mesoamerica's largest and most advanced civilizations and are well known for the art, architecture, mathematics, and calendrical and astronomical systems. Encompassing an area from present-day southeastern Mexico to Belize, it included all of Guatemala. The Mayans are thought to have emerged around 1800 BCE when they laid the groundwork for the first of a series of complex city-states in the region. As they gained in power and influence, the hallmarks of Mayan culture appeared. Sophisticated methods of engineering were employed to create elaborate palaces, pyramid temples, and ceremonial ball courts. Mayan history was recorded with an advanced system of hieroglyphic writing. They enjoyed wealth, influence, and power. But by around 900 AD, most of the major cities had been abandoned. Scholars debate that their collapse did not occur all at once, but happened over an extended period of time among various locations. Factors including overpopulation, extended drought, warfare, and shifting trade routes all could have played a role. The fall of the Mayan civilization remains one of archaeology's greatest unsolved mysteries. But while the civilization fell, millions of Maya people still inhabit Mexico and Central America today.